Hello, welcome to another week of new releases and sneak peeks. I have some, uh, I think, very exciting releases to show you. Um, but first, I uh, did not film this look, but everything I have on my face will be listed in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to. And the eyeshadow palette I used was the Passion in Paris from BH Cosmetics. This was my first time using it. I did mean to make a video on it. Didn't get time. I love it. Just, I love it. And yeah, I love the look. So, let's move on to the new releases. And I am going to shift on over to the side. So, first up, Shroud have reopened their shop for business. Um, unfortunately, they're not shipping to the UK um, and the EU at the moment. Um, says here due to nay VAT procedures so uh, hopefully they will be um, sending to UK and EU soon fingers crossed so the restock does include the it's freaking bats palette which is obviously their collab with Butte Bean um, I am very fortunate that um, my wonderful friend and sister in America has um has ordered this for me and will be sending it to me so i am oh i'm so excited it's unreal and so incredibly grateful um they have said it's not a pre-order all items are in stock and ready to ship the creepy cute palette will not be returning until fall at the earliest but we do have the singles available um the creepy cute palette is another palette of theirs that I would love to own and one day, one day I probably will. Um, but yeah, so that's that. I thought that was exciting. So yeah, let me know what you think. And then next up we have Metamorphosis and they have released their Kokotacha. Kokotacha? I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, so the collection is available now the palette is super cute I have the um, Lily Croaks palette and I love it I've got a couple of the singles too which are incredible um, uh, cream blush also incredible I think metamorphosis is a brand to seriously keep your eye on and if there is something that you like the look of um, I Personally, from my experience, would recommend them based on the product's quality um, and also the customer service. So yes, the collection does include one eyeshadow palette, one hand mirror and four lip glosses. I love the hand mirror. It's just so cute. I love the outer packaging. Now, Metamorphosis, smash it with packaging. It's just so, so cute. Um, it does say this collection will be launching July 23rd, so it's yeah, already available as I'm filming this and as you are watching this. I am going to have to turn on the fan because I am sweating so much. So, one moment. Okay, so apologies if you can hear the fan. I have to have it on. It is so incredibly hot in here. I can't have the window open because the road's so noisy. But anyway, let's carry on. So moving on to e.l.f. Now they have released a bite-sized balm. So they've got it in mint, coconut berry or watermelon. So that's a lip balm. And then the bite-sized brow. And it says here we've got blonde, taupe, neutral brown, auburn, dark brown and black. I love the look of the eyebrow palettes. I do have to say I love the look of the eyebrow palettes. And I may have to, I may have to give that a go. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, I have one of the little bite-sized palettes, the hot jalapeno one, the green one. I love it. The formula is amazing. I have heard such good things about their little mini face palettes. So yeah, I'm very intrigued by the eyebrow palette. And I'm pretty sure you will be seeing that at some point soon so the lip balms it says here they retail for four dollars each that's uh, us dollars and the bite-sized brow 
will be three dollars and i think when it comes to the uk they're around three pounds like british pounds but yeah i am interested let me know if you are too i'm always interested in trying new brow products especially now that i have none at all long story well, not really but for another time so the next one i have here is a collab between hello kitty and spectrum and i think this collection is so so cute so cute spectrum brushes are one of my absolute favorites i have quite a few i love them i use them all the time i've been using them today for this look and they're amazing i highly highly recommend spectrum brushes so here we have the sweet strawberry sponge set and that retails for 19 dollars the sugar cube kabuki brush which retails for 19 dollars the cute shake bag is 43 dollars the four piece brunch set 29 dollars 10 piece fluffy pancake brush set 65 dollars and the full collection is $130. You can use the code TRENDMOOD to get 10% off. I love this collection. It is so, so, so cute. And the bag is adorable. I, I love it. I think this is just such a beautiful collection. Let me know what you think. And then next up, we have more new products from Colourpop. I cannot keep up with their new products because I have the Cherry Crush palette and I got it literally as soon as it launched and by the time it arrived in the UK it was no longer new go figure but they have they already released these let me just double check it doesn't say so I'm guessing they are already available so this is their new quads collection the ice cream bites collection and there is the six quads so you've got gimme sugar extra toppings rainbow sprinkles sunday fun day waffle cone and triple scoop i think these look beautiful in particular the one that is all sparkles yeah, I think it I think they're really cute. And do we have a price here? No. No, no price. Okay. Well, I think these are super cute anyway. So, let me know what you think and if you're going to be picking any of these up. And moving on. So, next up, M Cosmetics, they have released their the So Soft collection and so it says formulated with their satin cloud complex a unique blend of rich powders and emollients that create a luxurious air whipped mousse like texture enriched with squalane and vitamin e to help condition skin and provide antioxidant defense soft sensorial texture blends and layers seamlessly for customizable color and dimension with a soft satin skin like finish wow that was just i'm sure they threw in everything they could into that one little um what do you call it i know what i mean into that one little bit so it includes six soft neutral to vibrant blushes and four bronzing and contour shades um they are thirty dollars each so i believe that's us dollars um, the blushes, you've got lychee, bitten, pearl tea, Phoenician, rose, baby and passion. And then the bronzing and contour, you've got Pangea, nomadic, summer and terror. Um, yeah, I, I love the look of these. I think for me though, they're just too expensive. Not just because of the price of them individually, which I still think is extremely expensive but also where i'm based in the uk i have to add shipping customs etc on top of that but i would be so interested to hear what your thoughts are and if any of you have picked one of these up or 
if you're going to let me know because I am super intrigued so yeah I thought these were really interesting yeah let me know what you think and then moving on this has really really caught my eye I think this let me just say what it is actually before I go wittering away so beauty paint which is a brand I hadn't heard of before they have released their the artist saga eyeshadow palette so it's a nine pan palette has a mix of four mattes and five shimmers and I am I love the look of this palette I think it screams summer not that I follow makeup by seasons however I know a lot of you guys do and I think this is super summery and beautiful and I think it covers everything so for those of you that are more of a daytime neutral nighttime color I think this is perfect it's absolutely gorgeous if any of you know anything about this brand if you've tried anything please do let me know because uh, I'm I'm super intrigued it doesn't have a price here but yeah you will find all of the um, all of the shops websites etc for all the brands mentioned today they will be linked in the description box below so if you want to check any of these out that's where you'll find them and um, I'm super intrigued so yeah let me know what your thoughts are and then moving on to another nine pan palette and this is makeup junkies cosmetics another another palette another brand that is new to me and they are introducing their new otherworldly palette it's got nine duochrome shades it's coming soon so it's not released yet there's no date um, as yet I do have to say from the pictures it's very difficult to tell um, if they're um, particularly shifty I think they really need to add a video so that you can see them in action um, but I'm super intrigued by by this palette so uh, yeah let me know what you think and if you've tried anything from this brand and yeah what you think of this palette so next up this collection really really caught my eye and just took me back to my youth so this is the new bubblegum collection from sugary cosmetics the collection includes a bubblegum face palette um, which retails for twenty dollars I believe US dollars sugary babe mirror which retails for ten dollars magnetic lashes and liner twenty five dollars pop socket eight dollars each bubble soap um, eight dollars and bubba brow pomade twelve dollars as soon as I saw the bubble soap I thought of Nikki Nikki Raven because I know she loves trying all these uh, different brow soaps and oh, I, I think I wish I had brows to try these things out with because I would be obsessed if I could completely and utterly obsessed um, but I think this is absolutely gorgeous the whole collection I love the packaging I love the color stories I just I think it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and just a perfect summer release and I think this is going to appeal to different age groups as well because it's going to appeal to the younger age groups because it's bright and colorful and and I think kind of my age group maybe <laughs> I'm super excited by this and I'm sure I'm not the only one that is completely reminiscing on the past when looking at this collection I love it it's beautiful so yes let me know what you guys think of this collection do you agree with me or do you think maybe I'm just a big kid but whatever please be nice <laughs> and then moving on what have we next ah this next collection is from C color cosmetics now whilst it's not my um, my thing they're all very neutral with like a pop of color in I really wanted to mention these um, these retail for six US dollars each and 
for a neutral palette they've got some interesting shades and yeah i thought this would be a good mention for all of you neutral palette lovers and for those of you that go for the neutral looks but like to add that pop of color i think this is done very well for in that case in that case i think this is uh the execution is perfect if they're looking to appease a community of neutral lovers that want to dip their toes into colour. I don't know, I'm rambling now, but let me know what you think of uh, these three palettes. I think for $6, that is a steal, a steal. But I know nothing about their, uh, their formula or anything. And I also didn't mention the collection is called the Around the City Collection. And the palettes are named NY, SF and LA. Cool beans. So, moving on. Oh, I am so in love with this next palette. I, it is just beautiful. So, we have Dazzle Me Dead Cosmetics. They are releasing their new palette and it is called attack of the karens now i'm guessing all of these are quotes from something that i'm clearly not getting it's going over my head um but yes it's coming soon so there's no official date as yet and what else does it say here hmm so the palette contains 15 shades there are 10 mattes and five shimmers the names some of these are I, again i'm guessing they're quotes that i'm not getting so we've got white privilege entitled i don't see color refund policy permit patty expired coupon parking spot i'm calling corporate record button yelp review 911 private property my friends are black speak english and the manager please enlighten me if this is where all this comes from is it a program or please let me know but anyways that aside i love this color story i love that you've got a range of light colors darker colors i think it's beautiful i i love the look of this and i know Dazzle Me Dead Cosmetics is a brand that I have mentioned numerous times in these new release videos. Um, the only thing that's been holding me back from picking anything up is that they're not in the UK or they're not as easily accessible or affordable um, for me in the UK. But I have my eye on this brand because they're interesting, very, very interesting. and. I think they know how to throw an interesting colour story together. Let me know what you think. I'm I'm intrigued by this, super intrigued. And yeah, looking forward to seeing more from this brand. And then moving on, Foolish Hustle Lashes. They're releasing their new Gangster Paradise Khalifa's Finest collection. Uh, the first sneak peek from the collection is the eyeshadow palette, which features 18 colours. Um, as a mix of mattes and shimmers. It's coming soon, there's no date as yet. This palette just looks beautiful. Beautiful. This is my kind of palette. The shades in there, just it's, the greens are screaming my name, but also that orange looks beautiful. The, oh, this just looks so, so beautiful. So beautiful. And Foolish Hustle Lashes, they're a brand that keep popping up and keep catching my interest. And yeah, I have my eye on them. They're firmly, firmly on my radar. Again, it's, it's just the difficulty in ordering. It's not difficult to order, but shipping, customs, time, etc. But yes, this is a beautiful palette and I am super excited to see more from this brand because 
I think they're gonna they're gonna get big they're gonna get big but anyways that's just my uh, my personal opinion what I think yeah let me know what you think and then next up again we have another sneak peek so this is the new pink paradise collection from beauty by Yomera another brand that is new to me I love the look of that really almost like primary blue and yellow and oh, it looks beautiful absolutely beautiful just from those six shades that you can kind of see maybe seven hmm yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of this palette looks like and yeah is it one palette or two because one looks fluorescent yellow and one pink hmm I'm intrigued I'm going to be keeping my eye on this and just uh, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing what this whole collection looks like yeah so moving on um we have where are we oh now this one this is stunning the packaging the color story they look so vibrant I think it's so summery so this is the bird of paradise pressed pigments palette from Mark Wiley Mark Weil cosmetics um I'm sure I should know this brand but I don't it's new to me um but this palette looks absolutely stunning and they're swatched on a deeper skin tone which shows that they look so vibrant on on the deeper skin tone so obviously it's they're gonna work for lighter skin tones um possibly look bolder brighter um I love the look of this palette so the drop date is the 30th of July which I believe we're not on yet so it hasn't launched yet but 30th of July um, it contains six mattes six shimmers and will retail for 20 US dollars I, I love the look of this love it let me know what you think um, I just think it makes me think of a tropical like a tropical summer holiday vacation not touristy just out in the out in the jungle I it makes me feel like it's the middle of summer but yes so let me know what you guys think and if you've tried anything from this brand if you know more about them then please do let me know like what the formula's like, what the brand's like, etc. And yeah. So I'm next moving on to Violet Voss, who have released their fun size mini eyeshadow palette. And what's it called? Is it called New Fun Size Mini? Wild. Right, okay, why can I not? see the name okay so in the description here I can't see the name of it but it looks like it's wild dahlia don't quote me on that because I am looking on um, indie makeup hotspot and not the violet Voss let me have a look on the violet Voss actually I can do that <laughs> well what is wrong with me so it is called the wild dahlia mini palette okay so the wild dahlia mini palette retails for 18 us dollars i think it is a beautiful neutral palette you've got light to dark you've got um some different shimmers i think for more neutral looks this is this is going to appeal to a lot of people i think i love the packaging i love the packaging if i was looking at the packaging i would be expecting more green and like creamy creamy shades yeah i i won't be picking this up because it really isn't i'm not excited by neutrals um 
at all really i do have some neutral palettes that i love but it's very rare that i get excited by a neutral palette but the packaging on this did get me excited it's beautiful and uh yeah i i love violet voss's formula i have the flamingo palette and i love it absolutely love it so if this is the same formula then they're going to be amazing eyeshadows but yes let me know what you think and if you're going to be picking this up and okay so next up pout and shell one of my absolute favorite brands does my favorite blushes so she has released um, some more of the Happy Glow Lucky highlighters. I have a good few of these two. They're amazing. These ones look amazing. And one looks to be a split pan. So two in. Um, there will be swatches coming soon and more pictures. I really wanted to mention these because she uses all upcycled packaging. She paints them herself. All of this is hand painted and the formula is vegan and cruelty free her formula is amazing it's more like high end and then also she's released this uh, OK Karen um, OK Karen is a warm pinky brown um, it's beautiful the blushes from Pout and Shout are just perfect. The formula is amazing. And then the fact that they come in these cute packaging with these cute little cats on and I that just makes it more of more of an experience. So it's not just you're not just getting a product, you're getting a whole experience. And I love that. And there's also this negative Nancy which is super cute. It's a baby pink shimmer. A uh, smattering of sparkly bits. This is another very cute one. Um, I have quite a few of the blushes. And I love every single one that I have. And then also from Pout and Shout. There is the Looking Like a Snack eyeshadow palette. I bought this. Um, it's beautiful i cannot wait to have this in my hands i'm so excited so so excited for those of you who don't know i keep and breed snakes i'm a huge huge snake lover and as soon as i saw this this it was mine straight away i messaged please <laughs> me and uh, yeah so this will be on its way to me soon so excited i can't wait um so yeah i'm gonna move on because obviously you can't get hold of that one because it's mine so next up we have here who is this so sydney grace i have introduced their two new nine pan eyeshadow palettes so there is the sweet indulgence palette and the Coffee Talk palette. So the Sweet Indulgence palette launches on the 28th of July. And, oh, the Coffee Talk launches today. Okay. So it's in celebration of their Christmas in July sale. So yeah, they both retail for 33 US dollars each. The Coffee Talk available today and the sweet indulgence will be available on wednesday 28th i thought these were cute i love obviously the sweet indulgence palette is the one that catches my eye um unfortunately all the mattes are neutral the only colorful shadows are the shimmers but i really wanted to mention these i know sydney grace has a lovely formula and a big following so yes if you are a fan of Sydney Grace and you haven't spotted this already, then uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, I do think the packaging is beautiful. I love especially the uh, Coffee Talk packaging. That packaging just, oh, it just makes me want to drink 
I can't shock to it. Yes. So yeah, let me know if you are going to be picking up either of these palettes and what you think of them. And then moving on to Shadow Moon Cosmetics. Um, these will be available on 30th of July. And this is their new Neon UV Lip Gloss with nourishing oils and a watermelon scent. That's what caught me, watermelon scent. I love anything that has a watermelon scent. I love it, love it. Um, so these retail for five pounds each or 20 pounds for all five. And it, this looks to be a UK indie brand, which I really, really now need to look into because those look amazing. Those swatches, I'm intrigued, absolutely intrigued. And for five pounds each, that's not bad at all. Hmm. Right, I'm gonna have a look into these. Let me know what you think. What What's your take on neon lip glosses? They look very pigmented for lip glosses. So yeah, let me know what you think and if you're going to be picking any of these up. And then we are on to the final release for me to talk about, and this is Game Beauty. Now, I've been waiting for them to come out with another palette. Um, it was one of their first ones, I can't remember the name of it, um, that really caught my eye. And then it's been a while since um, I've seen a release from them. Um, but now we have the new Victoria eyeshadow palette. And I think this is interesting. I'm a bit wary that they may have duped themselves on the orange colours, but that may just be, um, it may just be the picture. Because like I always say, you really do need to see things kind of in person in front of you to appreciate any differences. But yeah, I don't think for me it's as exciting as, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it had green. I don't find it as exciting as that, purely based on colour story. I am so excited by the brand. I really do need to try something out from them. Um, I don't think this palette would be it for me. I love the packaging, absolutely love the packaging. They, they slay it with the packaging. How many more times can I say packaging? Um, but yes, I think this is beautiful. I do love the combination of orange and blue. I, It's just, for me, a real beautiful contrast. Um, yeah, so what does it say here? Launching on August the 2nd at their website. Oh, so there are 10 high contrast colors from deep, sultry matte shades to the lustrous, gleaming, shimmer, and chameleon shades. Ooh, and a wide range of colors to suit any mood, any time. Now that, that intrigues me, the uh, chameleon shades. Okay. I'm now more intrigued. So let me know what you think. Are you going to be picking this up? Have you already tried anything from Game Beauty? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's have a chat. I'm going to move back on over to the middle. And thank you all for spending this time with me, for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a like, thumbs up. It really helps me out. This new releases and sneak peeks series um, is released every Monday. I don't have a specific time. It's uh, on a Monday. So we also have Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health, um, which premieres every Saturday, 3 p.m. UK time. I'm always in the live chat. It's such just a wonderful little community. I love it. So yeah, if you are new and you're a lover of colourful makeup, um, discovering new indie brands that are all cruelty free, then 
yeah i think you would really enjoy this channel my channel um so yeah please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that youtube notifies you when i upload videos so again thank you so much for watching i hope you're all having a great day a great evening wherever you are and whatever you're doing i hope you're taking care of yourselves i will see you again very very soon goodbye